Pentecost because they didn't they didn't believe the Holy Spirit poured out. Mm -hmm. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. See, uh, yeah, yeah, in other words, you got to believe Joshua to enter into his rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, read the fourth. I mean, Lord, nor I'm reading right off the thing there. I can't see it unless you bring the four up there. Uh, well, anyway, somebody else read it. Oh, no, I'm forward. sorry. Okay. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and Elohim did rest the seventh day from all his works. That guy puts a question mark there. He likes a question mark sometimes. <laughs> there ain't no question mark there. Okay. Uh, Somebody added that. And in this place again, yeah, that be a typo. if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter in, that they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today, not, 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 not the Sabbath day only, but today, uh, it's present. Do you understand? After so long a time, as it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Joshua, now see, that's why the holy name's right here. For if Joshua, son of Nun, had given them rest, then he, he would not have, have afterward, not afterward, have spoken of another day. Now see, so what, and now the whole, King James asked for if Jesus had given them rest. Well, Yahshua is the rest, so that shouldn't have, but they took Yahshua's name out and put Jesus everywhere, so they thought they could do that to King James, and they made a big error there, but it shows you that they knew that Yahshua, that Jesus was the substitution for Yahshua, and, and they got caught here because it's talking about Joshua had given them rest. They wouldn't have spoken of another. They wouldn't need a savior if he had given them salvation. You understand? Mm -hmm. But he was instituting back there as Joshua, the son of Nun. Uh, and then he's fulfilling it through Joshua the Messiah. For if Joshua, no, <laughs> for if Joshua had given them rest, then they wouldn't have spoken of another day. Now you see the ninth verse of the King James there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. Now look at what this fool did in, in the holy name. There remaineth therefore the keeping of the Sabbath to the people of Yah of Elohim. You, you see how he's, he believes in keeping the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. wow. And that ain't what he's talking about. He's talking about eternal rest and he doesn't change his that to keeping the Sabbath. Wow. You see that? Because he rested on that day. No, the guy believes in keeping the Sabbath. So he's saying, therefore, remain up, therefore, the keeping of the Sabbath to the people. He, he thinks that you got to keep keeping the Sabbath. Okay. Not realizing that there remain up, therefore, a rest to the people of Yahweh. That rest for he that is entered into his rest. He also have seed from his own works as Yahweh did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. That's the real Sabbath. That's the seventh dispensation. You understand that? Uh, see, he's got the creation going on for 6,000 years, and the real Sabbath is the next dispensation. So that would, time will be at its end. You understand? There'll be eternal life. That's, that's eternal rest. See? Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. And powerful. That's this gospel seed and the Holy Spirit. The word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. And that's why, and I'll never forget when he would say, didn't it say suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind? Ain't that quick and powerful? Yeah. I would never put that together. That's yeah. sweet how he did that. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and as a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. See, that's what the word of Yahweh, he can discern your thoughts and the intents of your heart. Read on there. 
or neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a high, a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahshua, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession. Now, this is the part that, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but what was in all points tempted as we are, yeah. yet without sin. So you see how he, uh, uh, he was in all points tested as we are so have you been tested with sexual desires a long then time he ago. was <laughs> a long time ago <laughs> anyway yet without sin okay so he was all points uh, so he did have those in infirmities that's in the bible okay and that's why when he didn't eat nothing for 40 days he hungered you understand? I mean, he's just like anybody else. Wouldn't you hunger if you didn't eat nothing? You fasted for 40 days? Yes. Yeah. So uh, so he did have, uh, well, he had a physical body and everything that goes along with it. And that's also why he, he felt those things that happened on the cross. He's, got, he's in a physical body. So he, he, he yeah. received that pain and suffering. Uh, he didn't just, it, it wasn't like, uh, okay, I got the Holy Spirit, so I don't even feel that. I don't even feel what they're doing. No, there was a, that was a sacrifice he made. See, uh, and that, and you're saved. And that we read that last week, Dr. Kinley, you're saved through the cruci crucifixion, the burial and the resurrection of Yahshua Messiah. And it's only in the name of Yahshua that you have salvation. And then he went into the predestination and said, "You, uh, that, that's what we read last week in the reconciliation lecture. And so that 16th verse is very good too. Uh, I think we're reading the whole chapter now. Yeah. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. That's what he's calling that uh, mercy seat and in, in the most holy place. That's the throne of grace. That's where you got to come boldly unto that, uh, unto the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and at the mercy seat, you call on the throne of grace and find grace in time of need. See, mm -hmm. so we look to him, don't we? That's right. You understand? So um, that was a long uh, explanation. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. can see how that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the. The guy in the Holy Name Bible did change it to Joshua in the eighth verse instead of Jesus, because uh, that is correct. But then in the next verse, he's going to talk about keeping the Sabbath day. That's uh, important. And it ain't about keeping the physical Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Joshua fulfilled that. And 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 uh, and if you if you don't, and that's why. Well, and if you're doing those physical things, that's not Sabbath. Uh, that he nailed to the cross. I'll never forget the one of the brothers in Springfield. They were saying how that, uh, you know, you read in, um, well, you read that the just shall live by his faith. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they asked Dr. Kinley what a just man was. And he said, that's a man that don't do nothing. Yahshua Messiah did when he walked around on the airplane. Why is that? Because he was fulfilling. So if he fulfilled it, he brought it to an end and you can't do them things. And if you do them things, you're calling him a liar saying he didn't fulfill them or complete them. See how the devils tricked the whole world in doing those things? And then they trick the people by putting a little piece of paper between Malachi and Matthew, calling it the New Testament. And so people think Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John's the New Testament. And I mean, I even asked my sister because she talked about she was saved and all this. I said, well, what's the gospel? I said, you don't even know what the gospel is. She said, yes, I do. It's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, well we ask you saying. what the yeah, we ask you what the gospel was. Oh, you understand? Not what the world calls the gospels. 
So Yahweh's really blessed us. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, the Holy Spirit's taught us through this vision revelation, and we would be just as wrong as everybody else if he hadn't brought us down to the school. Okay. And so that's why we're so thankful and uh, mm -hmm. appreciative. And uh, it's really good to know what he taught. And that's why these mm -hmm. transcript, uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're so sweet and they're so nice. Yeah. And this one, a lot of people haven't had, so uh, it's good for us to go over it. Um, um, praise Yahshua mm -hmm. and thank you Lenore mm -hmm. and uh, praise Yahshua and thank everybody for coming otherwise I'd just be sitting here by myself and we would not like that for you to be so lonely <laughs> <laughs> uh, 